Hey guys, I'm Michelle, this is my wheelchair Betty, and we're from World NYC. Uh, oh god, my brain is not functioning properly. I have been struggling a little bit because if you follow the, the channel then you know that my primary chair Betty has been uh, not really working reliantly and for well over a year and a half. And then I have the rental chair Lulabelle, I've, I've had her for a bit over a year at this point in time. And uh, the thing is that she's in a proper spine support. And so if I if I use her to leave my apartment for more than one day in a row, my spine is in an excruciating amount of pain. As a result, for the last over a year, I've been going out one day, staying the next day. And I'm tired of doing it. And then on top of that, braces it all. Like, wow, we're active. It's, it's led to a cognitive setback. I'm actually doing a little bit better today, but still, it's like, it's hard for me to focus, and then it's, it's hard for me to, um, it's like, form coherent thoughts, where it's, it's like, okay, hold on. <laughs> it's like, okay, so like, I know what I want to say, so I have to first form the thought, and then make it coherent. And then, um, and when it gets sent to my brain, to my mouth, often things do not come out clearly, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, there, there's that. It is very, very isolating. The fact of staying indoors means that recovery is slower. So I felt myself getting depressed. You know, it comes back down to the question of like, what can I do about it? I can't make the system go faster, but maybe I can think of new things for me to do, new projects, so that, you know, the time that I am in right now is more awesome and fulfilling, and then I won't be so, uh, fucking depressed. Or maybe when I do go out, I could, instead of just taking photos, I could take video. And then there'll be these fun videos of, of New York City, right? That's, uh, what? Fun. And let, this is it. Yeah, so things are really weird now, but you know what exists? The color of blue in the water, and the warmth of the sun on your skin, and the breeze on your skin, and the fact that you're on this earth, and that the earth exists. These are all things that are beautiful, and should not be forgotten. Art in the Chelsea Art District in New York City. Thanks for watching.